Welcome back to Bible Quizzes. We got 40 questions for you guys on the Old Testament. You have 10 seconds to answer each one. Let's get started. One, what are the first three words in the book of Genesis? In the beginning, Genesis 1-1, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. 2. What did God do on the seventh day of creation? He rested. Genesis 2-2. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing, so on the seventh day he rested from all his work. 3. What is the name of the first river that flows from Eden and winds through Havilah, Tigris, Gihon, or Pishon? Pishon, Genesis 2.11. The name of the first is the Pishon. It winds, winds through the entire land of Havilah where there is gold. Four. What is the name of the fourth river that flows out of Eden? Euphrates, Tigris, or Gihon? Euphrates, Genesis 2.14. The name of the third river is the Tigris. It runs along the east side of Asher, and the fourth river is the Euphrates. Five. True or false, the Lord told Adam that he can eat from any tree in the Garden of Eden, no exceptions. False, Genesis 2, 16 through 17, and the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. 6. God created women from what body part of man? From his rib. Genesis 2.22 Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. 7. What is the name of Lamech and Ada's son, who is considered the father of those who live in tents and raise livestock? Jubal, Jabal, or Tubal Cain? Jabal. Genesis 4.20 Ada gave birth to Jabal. He was the father of those who live in tents and raise livestock. 8. How was Enoch related to Methuselah? Enoch was his father, Enoch was his grandfather, or Enoch was his uncle. Enoch was his father. Genesis 5.21 When Enoch had lived 65 years, he became the father of Methuselah. 9. What is the sign of the covenant between God and Abraham? Stones, a rainbow, or circumcision? Circumcision. Genesis 17.11 You are to undergo circumcision, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and you. 10. True or false? According to the Lord, if he finds less than 50 righteous people in the city of Sodom, he will destroy the place. False. Genesis 18.32 Then he said, May the Lord not be angry, but let me speak just once more. What if only ten can be found there? He answered, For the sake of ten, I will not destroy it. 11. How old was Abraham when Isaac was born? 65 years old, 100 years old, or 170 years old? One 
100 years old. Genesis 21.5 Abraham was 100 years old when his son Isaac was born to him. 12. Who was Eli talking to when he said this line? How long are you going to stay drunk? Put away your wine. Hannah, Penina, or Elkanah? Hannah, 1 Samuel 1, 13-14 Hannah was praying in her heart, and her lips were moving, but her voice was not heard. Eli thought she was drunk, and said to her, How long are you going to stay drunk? Put away your wine. 13. Who defeated the Israelites and captured the Ark of God? Philistines, 1 Samuel 4, 10-11 So the Philistines fought, and the Israelites were defeated, and every man fled to his tent. The slaughter was very great. Israel lost 30,000 foot soldiers. The Ark of God was captured, and Eli's two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, had died. 14. Who was the second son of Samuel? Joel, Abijah, or Eleazar? Abijah, 1 Samuel 8, 2. The name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of his second was Abijah, and they served at Beersheba. 15. How old was Samuel when he became king? 23 years old, 30 years old, or 20 years old? Years old. 1 Samuel 13 1. Saul was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned over Israel 42 years. 16. What was the name of Saul's wife? Merab, Michal, or Ahinoam? Ahinoam. 1 Samuel 14.50 His wife's name was Ahinoam, daughter of Ahimaaz. The name of the commander of Saul's army was Abner, son of Ner, and Ner was Saul's uncle. 17. Complete the sentence. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the blank. Heart, mind, or lineage. First Samuel 16, 7, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. 18. The Lord regretted making Saul king over Israel. True or false? True. 1 Samuel 15.35 Until the day Samuel died, he did not go to see Saul again, though Samuel mourned for him, and the Lord regretted that he had made Saul king over Israel. 19. Who said this line? The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of the Philistine. Jonathan, Saul, or David? David, 1 Samuel 17, 37, The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord will be with you. 20. Who gave David his tunic, bow, sword, and belt because he loved him so much? Abner, Jonathan, or Saul? Jonathan, 1 Samuel 18, 3-4 And Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as himself. Jonathan took off the robe he was wearing and gave it to David, along with his tunic, and even his sword, his bow, and his belt. 21. What was the name of David's first wife? Michal, Merab, or Miriam? Michal, 
1 Samuel 18.27 David took his men with him and went out and killed 200 Philistines and brought back their foreskins. They counted out the full number to the, th to the king so that David might become the king's son-in-law. Then Saul gave him his daughter, Michal, in marriage. 22. Who gave the sword of Goliath to David? Doeg, Achish, or Ahimelech? Ahimelech, 1 Samuel 21, 9, the priest replied, The sword of Goliath, the Philistine, whom you killed in the valley of Elah, is here. It is wrapped in a cloth behind the ephod. If you want it, take it. There is no sword here but that one. David said, There is none like it. Give it to me. 23. Saul ordered his guards to kill the priest of Nob for siding with David. True or false? True. 1 Samuel 22.17 Then the king ordered the guards at his side, Turn and kill the priests of the Lord, because they too have sided with David. They knew he was fleeing, yet they did not tell me, but the king's officials were unwilling to raise a hand to strike the priests of the Lord. 24. Who was the sole survivor of the massacre at Nob? Dog, Ahimelech, or Abiathar? Abiathar, 1 Samuel 22:20. 20. But one son of Ahimelech, son of Ahitub, named Abiathar, escaped and fled to join David. 25. Who said this line? You are more righteous than I. You have treated me well, but I have treated you badly. Saul, David, or Jonathan? Saul. 1 Samuel 24, 16 through 17. When David finished saying this, Saul asked, Is that your voice, David, my son? And he wept aloud. You are more righteous than I, he said. You have treated me well, but I have treated you badly. 26. Who killed Asahel? Abner, Ishbosheth, or Joab? Abner, 2 Samuel 2.23, but Asahel refused to give up the pursuit. So Abner thrust the butt of his spear into Asahel's stomach, and the spear came out through his back. He fell there and died on the spot, and every man stopped when he came to the place where Asahel had fallen and died. 27. What is the last book of the Old Testament? Malachi. Malachi 1.1. A prophecy, the word of the Lord to Israel through Malachi. 28. What is the name of David and Abigail's son? Kiliab, Absalom, or Amnon? Kiliab. 2 Samuel 3.3 His second Kiliab, the son of Abigail, the widow of Nabal of Carmel, the third Absalom, the son of Mekah, daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur. 29. Why did Joab murder Abner? Because Abner betrayed David, because Abner killed Joab's brother Asahel, or because Abner stole David's lands. Because Abner killed Joab's brother Asahel. 2 Samuel 3.30 Joab and his brother Abishai murdered Abner because he had killed their brother Asahel in the battle of Gibeon. 30. What is the name of Jonathan's son who David showed kindness to? Ziba, Mephibosheth, or Machir? Mephibosheth. 2 Samuel 9, 6. When Mephibosheth, son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, came to David, he bowed down to pay him honor. David said, Mephibosheth, at your service, he replied. 31. Why did Absalom kill Abnon? Because they betrayed their father David? 
because he wanted to inherit David's title or because he's disgraced their sister Tamar. Because he disgraced their sister Tamar, 2 Samuel 13, 32. But Jonadab, son of Shimea, David's brother, said, My lord should not think that they killed all the princes. Only Amnon is dead. This has been Absalom's express intention ever since the day Amnon raped his sister Tamar. 32. Who said this line? The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. David, Saul, or Joab? David, 2 Samuel 22, 1-2 David sang to the Lord the words of this song when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. He said, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. 33. Who succeeded King David? Solomon 1 Kings 1.30 I will surely carry out this very day what I swore to you by the Lord, the God of Israel. Solomon, your son, shall be king after me, and he will sit on my throne in my place. 34. Who said this line? We have no share in David, no part in Jesse's son. Every man to his tent, Israel. Sheba, Absalom, or Bikri. Sheba, 2 Samuel 21. Now a troublemaker named Sheba, son of Bikri, a Benjamite, happened to be there. He sounded the trumpet and shouted, We have no share in David, no part in Jesse's son, every man to his tent, Israel. 35. Where in the Old Testament can you find this line, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. Psalms. Psalm 23, 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. 36. Complete the sentence. The name of the Lord is a fortified blank. The righteous run to it and are safe. Ship, house, or tower. Tower. Proverbs 18.10. The name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. 37. Where in the Old Testament can you find this line? The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. Nahum, Daniel, or Haggai. Nahum. Nahum 1.7. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. 38. True or false, Solomon was faithful and was devoted to one God only. False, 1 Kings 11.10 Although he had forbidden Solomon to follow other gods, Solomon did not keep the Lord's command. 39. The Old Testament was originally written in what language? Hebrew. The Old Testament was mainly written in Biblical Hebrew, also referred to by others as Classical Hebrew. 40. Who are the three oldest people in the Bible? Methuselah, Jared, and Noah. Methuselah died at the age of 969 years old. Jared died at the age of 962 years old. Noah died at the age of 950 years old. That's all the questions for today. Put your score down below and share this with your friends and family to compare your scores. And we'll see you in the next one.